So the first things to do when you're using the chuck as opposed to the well system is to make sure that the chuck and its grooves are entirely dry and there's no residual water or alcohol from previous cleanings. Then you use your OCT and ensure that the OCT fills in the ridges so that there's no barrier between the chuck itself and the OCT media, which can allow for the media and the specimen to break away from the chuck during cutting. When getting ready to embed tissue using the chuck, keep in mind that it's opposite what you used when you were doing embedding for histology. The surface area facing up is what's going to be cut here. So whatever you want to be demonstrated on the slide needs to face you. Just like in embedding for histology, you need to make sure that you place the specimen in the center of the chuck so that there's ample room for OCT media to freeze around it. Once you've placed the OCT media over the top of your specimen, you're going to put the specimen back in to the cryostat and allow it to freeze. In order for the specimen to freeze quicker than just letting it sit alone, you may use something called a Peltier element or a heat sink, which is what we're going to use in this circumstance. So the heat sink, when placed on top of your specimen, serves two purposes. The first is again, to cool the specimen more quickly. And the second is to flatten the specimen so that when cutting, everything is in the same plane. After the specimen has been frozen onto the chuck, you're going to mount the chuck onto the specimen head. When mounting your chuck onto the specimen head, you always want to orient your chuck so that you're cutting from either the smallest surface area to the largest, or you're cutting from soft tissue to firm tissue. When you've faced your block adequately and are ready to take a section, you need to switch to fine as opposed to trim. Keeping in mind that typical frozen section thickness ranges between 0.4 and 0.5 millimeters. Advance the wheel so that the bottom portion of OCT folds up. When you use your brush to grab the specimen, make sure that you grab the specimen so that you are not pushing down on the blade, but rather the stage. At that point, you continue to turn the wheel while pulling the ribbon of tissue towards you. When the specimen has been entirely cut, use your brush to stabilize the specimen in place so it doesn't roll back upon itself. Remove your brush, grab your slide, and use your slide to pick up the portion of tissue that was just sectioned. After the frozen section is complete, we're always going to label our cassette and indicate by the letters F, S, that this is the frozen section remnant. The easiest way to do this is to place the chalk in the labeled cassette and let it come to room temperature so that the OC team melts away from the chuck itself. Do not, under any circumstances, run the chuck under water over a drain. Oftentimes students do this thinking that it's going to speed up the melting process, which it does, but then they lose their tissue specimen down the sink. Once the specimen has been sitting on your bench for several minutes, as mentioned previously, the OCT will naturally release the specimen from the chuck into the cassette. 
try to, as best you can, remove any excess OCT from the cassette as paraffin and OCT do not mesh well and the histologist will struggle to embed this tissue for permanent cutting. Once all is complete, close your cassette and put the cassette in formal and fixative as you would any other tissue in a cassette. When going to clean your chuck, make sure that you use a bristle brush to get in the grooves in addition to water to scrub all of the excess OCT out. After all the OCT has been removed, place your chuck directly in ethanol for several minutes. Once you remove the chuck from ethanol, place it back on a paper towel to dry. Using ethanol between washing the chuck and utilizing it again for the next frozen section will allow all water to evaporate so that when you go to put OCT on the chuck for the next frozen, your chuck and OCT will not separate from each other.